So what happens if you fail at <gasps> Army basic training in 2019? Let's face it, everyone joins the reason they have their goals, they have their why, they commit to themselves, and they join the Army. You have your plan in place and you invest a ton of time, energy, and effort to get into the Army. Just for the mere simple fact that you make it through MEPS, don't get me on the MEPS issues. Trust me, we all hate MEPS. In fact, that is probably the worst day of your Army career. It's never a 100% graduation rate for any basic training site. People will fail, people will get kicked out, all a plethora of reasons for failing Army basic training. And we're gonna get to the bottom of this, but first, roll with the intro. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sergeant First Class Force, your local New York Army National Guard recruiter, conveniently located here in Midtown Manhattan and New York City, and I am never too busy to transition you from civilian into a citizen soldier. Here on this channel, it is my hobby to create videos to help future soldiers prepare themselves both physically and mentally for army basic training and to post videos on recruiting and other related things. If that's what you're into, consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that bell icon so that you don't miss anything. The reason why you push that bell notification is because I often go live and not only that, you know, I post other videos, but when I go live, more importantly, I'll bring on drill sergeants currently serving or former drill sergeants to share their insights and tips to help you get prepared for army basic training. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I must say there are two major reasons that soldiers fail during army basic training. One being medical, which sometimes you can control, but majority of times you can't control. And number two, you just simply quit. And what do I mean by quit? I mean quit like mentally giving up before you're even knee deep into training. You have to be mentally tough. You have to push yourself. You have to understand that you're gonna be pushed beyond your comfort zone and do things that you don't think that you are physically or mentally capable of doing and you are going to be uncomfortable. Drill sergeants are going to make you feel uncomfortable. They have a unique adapt way to get under your skin, make you uncomfortable, make sure that, that you know that they're in charge because they tell you what to do, when to do it, and how to do it, whether you like to do it or not, and you will do it with a smile on your face. Well, maybe not a smile, but you will have, you will do things with extreme intensity. Some of you will quit at reception before you even get the basic training. Like how embarrassing would that be when somebody asks you, have you ever served in the army or the military rather? And you're gonna have to check that box that yes, I did. Well, why didn't, why did you get out? Oh, I, I couldn't hack it. Um, I, I mean, I didn't even finish basic training. What? You couldn't even get through, I mean, you didn't even get to training? Like you backed out during reception, like the in-processing part of the whole thing? Trust me, don't do it, okay? Stay focused, stay driven. Remember your why to why you joined because you will, at some point, no matter who you are, wonder why you joined and you will question your why. So remember your why, stick to your why, and follow through. At least get through red phase before you mentally quit. Red phase is only three weeks of army basic training. Survive red phase and I guarantee you, it'll be a world of a difference and, and you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. Unfortunately, when one soul soldier starts mentally quitting, it's like toxic. It, it just infects people around them that are that are feeling vulnerable, just like you. You know, we're all gonna feel vulnerable in that state in army basic training. Only a select few are so mentally tough that it, it, it doesn't phase them. And to them, they're like, really? This is like nothing. Well, guess what? That is not the norm. Most people will feel very intimidated and very, very uncomfortable in the first part of army basic training, specifically the shark attack in the first few days. So just hang in there, stick it out. I promise you, it gets better. So what are some of the reasons that people quit army basic training? A, they don't want to be yelled at. B, they get homesick. They miss their friends and their family and their, their simply their way of life. Some people don't like being told what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Basically feel micromanaged and feeling like a child because you kind of do 
get treated like a child. Fraternization or unprofessional relationships while in a training environment, like you cannot have a relationship with any other trainee or instructor cadre or drill, drill sergeant basically, just say no, okay? No relationships, no fraternization, you will get kicked out of the army or army based training for that. And if you quit, like mentally give up and say, I ain't doing it, I ain't staying, I ain't training, I ain't doing nothing, I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. <laughs> Turn off the camera. I just wanna go home. But on a serious note, if you quit and you mentally quit, and I'm telling you, if you do quit like this, if if you end up being a soldier, you just mentally quit, you will be outcasted by your own peers. Like they will look down on you like, what the hell is wrong with you? This is just army based training and you make them look bad and they just don't wanna have to deal with that. Like you're gonna be at training as a holdover all throughout army basic training. In fact, nine over 90% of the time, you're going to watch your peers graduate and walk across the stage and graduate army basic training in the majority of the times. That's exactly what happens. And they will move on to advanced individual training while you're still stuck there in a holdover status. You're gonna be the guy or girl that that's doing road guard during PT. You're the one that's doing ammo detail while you're on the range. You're gonna be on stupid various details throughout the rest of the basic training experience and assisting the drill sergeants conduct training as an assistant in what it is that they ask you to do. You'll be doing probably extra CQ, um, extra fire guard. I will be posting videos about that at some point. So I'm telling you right now, if you think that you're going to tell your drill sergeant, oh, I'm just going to commit suicide. I'm going to end my life. I can't handle this. I, I just want to go home. I can't take this anymore. I just want to hurt myself. You're going to go on suicide watch. They're going to take your boot laces, your belt, and anything that you could use as a weapon to include your pen and pencil. Like, for real. Seriously. And if and, and they, for the most part, can tell if you're being, like, just using it as an excuse to go home. And you will be there until they graduate and see them go off to the AIT. And the whole time you're going to be like, oh my God, I should have stuck it out. What the hell was I thinking? And now you're going to get uh, discharged for a mental reason. So now if you're looking at getting into law enforcement later on in your career, you ain't going to get it because you ain't going to be able to carry a weapon. Don't do it to yourself. Don't play yourself, player. Another way a soldier can get discharged or fail of army basic training is violating SHARP. Sexual harassment awareness reporting pr process, uh, pr something like that. Sharp. I'll, I'll put it right here on the screen. Whoop. Right there. And what it means. So even if you're joking, do not violate Sharp. The army has zero tolerance for sexual harassment and especially assault. I mean, serious. Like, even if you were just joking, you're getting discharged. It's that serious. If you fail to meet all the basic training requirements, you will get recycled to an earlier phase. Worst case scenario, recycled or refrad all the way to the beginning of red phase. Don't be that soldier. Try to pass everything in the moment that you're supposed to. And if you can't complete it while you're with your peers throughout your basic training experience, you will have to move to a whole new company and start over again, either through red phase, white phase, or blue phase, whichever phase that you're in, the beginning of that phase, at best case scenario. So you don't want to get restarted. That's the term I was looking for, restarted or recycled back in my day is what we called it. You want to avoid that. And if during that time that you're being recycled, if they feel that you're just refusing to train or do what you're supposed to do, they will recommend discharge and you will be kicked out and you will be considered a failure at army basic training. So make sure that you meet all the basic training requirements. Follow, if you don't know what's going on, you don't know what you're doing, trust me, talk to your battle buddies, look to your left, look to your right. Everyone's going to be doing the same exact thing and everything at army basic training is based on a go or no go status. Trust me, you will pass. Just give it F, put an honest effort into it and you will pass. You will be given multiple opportunities, at least two opportunities to rectify or fix your deficiency and gra meet the graduation requirement. Drill sergeants, despite how they yell at you and make you do crazy corrective training or push up smoke sessions, they legitimately want you to pass and walk across that stage standing tall, earning that title of a US soldier. You could also fail army basic training by getting into a physical or sometimes verbal confrontations with your battle buddy and especially 
with your drill sergeant. Do not get into a verbal confrontation in front of your drill sergeants and certainly never ever get into a physical confrontation outside of hand-to-hand -hand combats or pugil sticks. That's like the only time you can legally get into a fight with somebody and call them out and take out your frustrations and you know set aside your differences. So with that being said, do not get into a physical confrontation with somebody because you will face legal actions and possibly discharge and fail army basic training as a result. I had an incident. I will share that in another video. So one huge contributing factor on whether you can finish army basic training, even if you fail something, trust me, one huge contributing factor is your attitude. Attitude is everything at army basic training. Act like you give a F, give 200% at all times, volunteer for every single detail. So if you're failing something and, 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 and the drill sergeant's like, listen, senior drill sergeant wants me to process you out or this, that, or whatever, whatever the case may be, your attitude drives the train. So act like you give a F and they will work with you for the most part. They will try to give you every last possible opportunity for you to meet the basic training requirements as long as you give a F and you want to be there and you want to succeed and earn that title as a U.S. soldier. They will work with you unless you're just not workable. So if you have that nonchalant, I don't care if I'm here or not, guess what? They will do the paperwork this thick pretty much and they will recommend discharge and you will fail army basic training. So have a good attitude, have good work ethic and give it up. Like I said, keep your why in the forefront of your mind. Remember you why because you will have that moment of truth at some point throughout army basic training, usually during red phase where you question yourself, why am I here? Why do I put myself through all of this, I am 23 years old. I'm 35 years old. I don't need to be treated like a child or whatever your mentality is. Whether you're homesick, doesn't matter. Remember your why and I guarantee you just survive red phase and you will be fine. Lean on your battle buddies, lean on them because they will be your battle buddies for life and with social media the way it is now, it's so much easier to stay in contact with your new friends, your battle buddies, battles for life. Just don't come home with a battle boo. Don't, don't, don't get married in basic training or AI. Just don't do it. Medical, like I said, is another major reason for why soldiers get discharged or fail army basic training. So if you get medically discharged, it's because you obviously medically broken and you would have to go and heal. And in some cases you can get a medical waiver to, you know, request a medical waiver to come back into the army after a specified amount of time, providing everything heals and all that good stuff. I mean, that's like a whole nother video that I'll do about sick call and some of the risks that are involved with it but I'll give you a little gist of it now. If you are gonna go on sick call to complain about uh, shin splints or something along, the, along those lines or like hip pain, you're gonna take that risk of being medically chaptered out of the army and fail army basic training because of your shin splints and stress fractures in your hips, which is a very common injury throughout basic training are stress fractures, okay? And unfortunately, the army doesn't wanna take the risk and in injuring you further, so they will just medically recommend that you be removed from army basic training. So if you have shin splints, you have hip pain, if, if you can, if it's, I mean, you you know in your mind, am I, am I hurt or am I injured? And if you're saying to yourself, I'm just hurting, I'm just in pain, push through the pain, push on and, and, and move on throughout your training. But if you feel that you're legitimately injured and you don't wanna take that risk or you don't care about taking that risk of being medically chaptered out of the army for uh, an issue that may or may not be a real issue, push through it, you know? So don't go on sick call complaining about that type of stuff because you are taking that risk of being discharged. Your discharge from army basic training, especially for failure or any discharge in, in it really, but you have to understand that if you quit, you're not going to get an honorable discharge. At best case scenario, you will get a general discharge under honorable conditions. Now, depending on your reason for being discharged, let's say you do something stupid, like you steal something from the troop exchange or the post exchange, or you know, like you get into some like legal issues, then you're taking that risk of being dishonorably discharged. But at best, most people will get general discharge under other than honorable discharge, which is just as bad as a dishonorable discharge. So if you ever apply for state or federal government jobs, they're not going to hire you or consider you because you, you don't have an honorable discharge. Your discharge is a legal binding document and whenever you apply for a job and it asks you, have you ever served in the military? You're gonna have to check that box. Yes. And they're gonna wanna know why. So 
you drive the train, this is your career, and this is your life. And this, the decisions that you make today, if you can control these decisions to how or why you fail basic training, if you have total control over that, the decision that you make today affects the rest of your life no matter what you do in life to include this basic training experience. So remember that, control the outcome. Sometimes, Joe Sarns or the HR, Human Resources Department would tell you, oh, don't worry about it. You can put a waiver in six to 24 months from now and, and you'll come right back in. False, false news, fake news. I'm telling you, hashtag fake news. I see it all the time as a recruiter. Oh, don't worry about this injury or don't worry about failing basic training. You can just get a waiver and come right back in. And then I look at their paperwork. They think they're being discharged because they failed basic training due to refusal to train this, that, whatever. But because they didn't pay attention to the paperwork, they didn't realize that they were being discharged for misconduct or a pattern of misconduct because of the refusal to train and the repeat offenders uh, of like, you know, you know, disrespecting the drill sergeant, whatever the case may be. It's imperative that you do what you're supposed to because and, and when you're getting counseled, make sure that you're reading actually reading the paperwork and if it's false information and why they're discharging or recommending or whatever it is that they're uh, counseling you on that block where you check agree or disagree that's just to check off the box that your administrative data is correct but that box that box where you're signing is where you put your side of the story don't Put your emotions in there. Put the who, what, where, when, and why, or how, witnesses, date and time groups, all that good stuff, facts, okay? That's what you put in there. That's what will save you from majority of these discharges that we get, but unfortunately, People don't read, they just sign it. They just wanna go home, that's it. Like one person legitimately thought they were being medically discharged and next thing you know, they, they were being discharged for a failure to adapt. One person was being discharged for misconduct. Like, come on, seriously, like read the paperwork. Don't just sign things, know what you're signing and get copies of everything. So this video was recommended in the comment section in my earlier video on what to post and video ideas, stuff like that. So this shout out goes to Kevin DG or DG however you pronounce that on YouTube. So thank you very much, buddy. Thank you for the video idea. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a like or dislike. And, and, and if you really wanna make my day, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And more importantly, I mean, put me aside if you wanna help out your battle buddies, if you're in the Future Soldier Program or the Recruit Sustainment Program in the National Guard, do me a favor, share this video. Hashtag save a young private's life in Army Basic Training. Let's go, let's do it. Share the video. I'll see you next time. That's it, video's over. Sorry, um, but you could definitely watch more. You can check out this video here, or maybe you can check out this video here. Um, but you know what? Actually, this video is pretty good. You, you should definitely watch this one. But actually, this one seems pretty great. You should definitely check out this video. But actually, why don't you watch them both? Try clicking the both.